there are over 300 different dog breeds out there, but among all those dogs, one dog, the Doberman Pinscher, stands out for their long list of amazing capabilities that, among other things, has even been recognized and utilized by the U.S. military. This unique combination of abilities all in one package is what makes a Doberman Pinscher stand out, and that's what this episode is all about. This is cool stuff, guys, so let's jump into this as fast as we can. And speaking of fast, up first is the Doberman's impressive speed. You may not know this, but the Doberman of today is actually genetically related to the Greyhound. That's right, they have a little bit of Greyhound blood in them, which might explain why these dogs are so impressively fast. The top speed of the Doberman is about 35 miles per hour for the fastest Dobermans out there. Now, more of the average Dobermans might be 30 to 32 miles per hour, which is still incredibly, incredibly fast. In fact, to put it in perspective, this speed is faster than a lot of the other big breeds in their category, including German Shepherds, Boxers, Bel Belgian Malinois, uh, American Pit Bull Terriers, Rottweilers, and so many others. A Doberman is certainly an incredibly fast dog. Up next is a Doberman's impressive endurance. Now, these are muscular working dogs that are bred really to keep going all day long. Even show line Dobermans are regularly run three miles at a time just to keep them in decent shape for the show ring. But working line Dobermans, they're worked even harder than that. And many owners have even taken their dogs out on those endurance dog runs for 20 mile plus runs with their Dobermans, which is incredibly impressive. Now, fair disclaimer, don't try this at home with your dog without seeing a vet first, of course, um, because many of these uh, competition dogs work up to this level of stamina over six months to a year or even more of training and preparing for this. But nevertheless, the Doberman breed is absolutely capable of this amazing feat. Up next is the impressive strength of the Doberman's bite. The Doberman is thought to have a bite pressure of about 305 PSI. That's pounds per square inch of force. Now to put this in perspective, um, other dogs like the Belgian Malamaw is thought to have about 195 PSI for their bite strength. The American Pitbull Terrier about 235 PSI and the German Shepherd at about 238 PSI. Now there are other dogs that outrank the Doberman as far as bite strength like the Mastiff and a few others for example, but not many. The Doberman is very high on this list. Now why is the Doberman's bite so extremely high for their size? Well, a lot of people um, argue that this may have something to do with their mouth being able to open so wide um, and allow whatever they're biting on to go all the way to the back of their jaw, increasing their leverage on whatever it is they're clamping down on. Now, whatever the reason is, this number is impressive to say the least. And uh, they were created for the sole purpose of personal protection. So to me, it makes sense that they'd have an impressively strong bite. Now, speaking of bite, the Dobermans have something called a scissor bite, which, at least in the Dobermans case, is where the teeth come together in a very precise manner, making a very efficient slicing motion as the jaws close. Also, they have something that I call the rapid fire bite, um, which is where the dog uh, bites down and releases and bites down again real quick, and they can do a lot of damage over a broad area. Now, a lot of dogs will just instinctually bite and hold on, which the Doberman can certainly be trained to do, but they don't seem to naturally do that. They seem to do that quick hit and release and they'll hit you multiple times, very quick succession before you even really know what's going on. Up next is their jumping ability. Now it makes sense that an athletic dog like the Doberman would be a high jumper, but I wasn't able to find any official records of their uh, jumping height from any you know AKC events or anything like that. However, many Doberman owners report that their Dobermans have no problem jumping up over a six foot tall fence. In fact, a few of them have said that they've seen their Dobermans scramble up over their eight foot fence, which to me is incredibly impressive. That's something I'd like to see, but hopefully not for my dog. Up next is their impressive scenting ability. Their sense of smell is thought to be between 10,000 to 100,000 times stronger than a human's. Now, let me put that in perspective real quick because I'm not sure you understand how amazing that is. Let's convert that to vision. Let's pretend my Dorman Arlo had vision that was even on low end, 10,000 times stronger than my vision. That would be like me seeing an object clearly at a third of a mile, which is pretty realistic, 
and my Doberman Arlo seeing that same object clearly at over 3,000 miles away. The United States is only 2,800 miles wide, so it's like seeing that object clearly all the way across the US and then some. That's how impressively strong their sense of smell is. And since Dobermans are also well known for their amazing sense of smell, we can assume they're at least that good, if not better, with their nose. They've excelled at many different working roles over the years as search and rescue dogs, cadaver location dogs, tracking dogs, and many others where their sense of smell needs to be highly tuned. In fact, since 2017, over 100 Dobermans have earned scenting and tracking titles through the AKC. They definitely have an impressive nose. Up next is a Doberman's intelligence, which I love talking about guys because this still impresses me to this day. Now, there's a doctor named Dr. Stanley Corrin of the University of British Columbia who spent a significant amount of years in his career studying canine intelligence. And he's determined that dogs in general have the ability to learn over 150 different human words and have the equivalent uh, intelligence of a two to two and a half year old human child. Now, he's also studied all the different breeds to determine which ones are the most intelligent. And what did he determine? He determined that the Doberman is the fifth smartest dog breed in the world. And in Dr. Korn's book, The Intelligence of Dogs, he describes how the average dog will learn a new command with 25 to 40 rep repetitions of that command, whereas a Doberman can learn a command in as little as five repetitions. Also, he describes how the average dog who's asked to perform a command that's known to him will perform it 50% of the time, whereas the average Doberman will perform it 95% of the time. He also goes on to describe the Doberman in that, book, in that book as among the very best and very elite dogs in terms of trainability. Certainly, the Doberman is incredibly impressive when it comes to intelligence too. Dobermans are just great working dogs, and they can excel at just about any AKC working dog event that they're put through, including fly ball, dock diving events, disc dog events, barn hunting events, and so many others. And you're, they're also very capable in the working world. You'll see Dobermans very often in roles such as police and military, search and rescue, a bomb detection, service dog roles, and just so much more. In fact, one of the most well-known uh, search and rescue dogs on 9-11 at Ground Zero helping out with recovery efforts there was, you guessed it, a Doberman Pinscher. And even the US military understands the usefulness of the Doberman's intelligence, trainability, and amazing physical capabilities during wartime. In fact, in World War II, the Dobermans were used quite extensively during the Battle of Guam. And during that, they were used as scouts and sentries. They sniffed out landmines and booby traps. They explored the island's caves, and they even stood guard over sleeping U.S. Marines. And of the 60 Marine wartime dogs that landed on Guam during that battle, 25 of them gave their lives, and 20 of them were wounded, most of them either German Shepherds or Doberman Pinschers. And, you know, they were known as devil dogs at this time, but they were just an absolute blessing for the U.S. service men, but a curse for the enemies. If you're interested, guys, take a minute to look through my channel. You can click on the little Doberman head just beneath this video, and it'll bring you to my channel where you can find over 100 different videos, all dedicated to the Doberman breed specifically. Many of those videos are dedicated to the capabilities and exploring the abilities of the Dobermans that I mentioned here today. You might be just surprised at what you find. Please consider hitting that like button down below, guys, if you enjoyed learning about this amazing breed today. And hey, I'd love to have you as a regular on my channel, so why not hit that subscribe button down below as well and the little bell icon that comes up next to it. That way, you won't miss any of my future videos. And if you've done all that, well, then I guess I'll see you next time.